Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe. And in this video, I'm going to show you this neat little trick to creating some long shadows in After Effects. So we'll just jump right in and we'll uh, create a text layer here. Let's say Camp Keyframe. All right. Make it a bit small. Oops. Make, make it a bit smaller. Hold Shift, of course. Center that. And we're going to duplicate that one. And uh, we're going to turn one off, um, put it above. And now in this one, we're going to give, um, we're gonna right click it and go to create, create shape from text because it does not work on the text layer itself. Delete that one. And then we're going to open this and we're gonna go to add and add a repeater. And what the repeater does is it repeats your layer multiple times. So uh, let's, I can, I can show you here what it does. It creates multiple copies of your, uh, your layer. Um, and you can, you can uh, edit here how many copies it needs to show. Um, so a lot of copies, and then it goes a long way. So what we want to do here is go to our position and, pr and type in one and one. So that will move our copies one, f one uh, pixel to the right and one pixel down. And if I create more copies, then it will just create, I can show you if I make this five and five, you can see what happens. It creates all these different copies, five pixels to the right, five pixels down. So if you turn it, turn it at one, you get this nice crisp lines here. And we're going to go to zoom out here and the copies make it a whole lot. That's maybe a way too much. 100, no, I want it to fall off screen. Oh yeah, it needs to be like 700. All right, cool, and we're going to give that a different color. So make that black, uh, oops. And then we're going to turn on the layer which we turned off earlier, which will be our font itself. And the outlines, we can go to the opacity and give this like maybe a 20. And there you go, that's your long shadow. Um, yeah, and I can, uh, what I'm going to do is parent this one to our text. And if I move our text up, then I don't know why it's so laggy. Okay, um, let's, and if I move this, then the whole thing moves along, right along with it. Um, but, if I want to animate this, uh, if I want to animate the different letters, uh, we need to do something else. So here I created something and I have this camp keyframe letters all um, by themselves. There are separate layers and I animated them with a the position moving down and up. So, and then give them a little offset. So we have this animation. And if I want to uh, give this uh, a long shadow effect, uh, I need to create a long shadow effect for all these layers individually. So I'm gonna do that by pressing Command D and then pressing Command N bracket to put them all on top. And we're going to turn these one ones off for now. And what we're going to do, we need to, uh, again, right click and go to create, create shapes from text. And um, what sucks is I cannot select them all, go to create shapes from text. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. So we're gonna to need to do this all by hand. Okay. And if you're on an older version of After Effects, then your uh, create shapes will be right, right in here, but in the newest update, it is on our create and then create shapes from text. So thank you Adobe for adding that extra little click to make it a lot more easy to, to do that. Create and the last one, create. So now we're going to delete all these text layers. Tick, tick, tick. Goodbye. And this one as well. And then I have all of these. Let's make them black. And we're going to open this one up, add our where is it? A uh, repeater. There you go. Open that up and put the position at one and 
one and then we're going to like that and then <clears throat> we're going to copy the repeater and place them uh, select them all and press command v to copy them all to that one to those ones select them all and go to your t for uh, your um, opacity and hit 20 percent uh, no because then we get all these ugly overlaps so we're going to uh, we're not going to do that we're going to select all of these layers of our uh, purple logo and put them on top by pressing command shift and bracket to place them all on top of your layer uh, timeline uh, there they go and what i can do now is select all of these uh, your repeater lines uh, your, your repeater um, shapes command shift c to pre-compose them and long shadow comp and then this one we can give our uh, t and go to opacity 20 percent that doesn't work as well nice why not when i select this ah it's the transform collapse uh, transform collapse uh, probably this is the of apparently this is the reason why it's not uh, looking great so let's not check that one uh, all right and if i want to feather this one out uh, because now what you see it animates uh, right along with uh, the letters so let's hit render for a while yeah so now they uh, move along with this and if i Precompose them as well. Uh, purple rain, purple text, and then I'm going to parent the shadow with my text. So if I happen to um, move around my text, then the shadow moves along with it, but it cuts it off there. So be aware of that. And um, now, if I want to feather this out, I can uh, just uh, if I select this uh, comp, the shadow comp, and I create this mask around it and it's only visible there and i press f on my keyboard open up the feather tool and like this and now we've created an actual shadow with uh, a fall off um, that's it thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next tutorial on cam keyframe thanks bye bye